There we go. You're live. All right. All right. Yep. So that'll go right there. Um, yeah, and then if you want, when you sort of, you know, move the camera, you can also see what other people are seeing, right? Yeah. So I'm going to move down here. I'll get the heck out Yeah, whatever you want to do. Check, 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 just check. Yeah, we're good. All right. I assume we're good, yeah. All right, cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're just joining us, uh, my name's Robert Type. I'm on the mic today. I'm joined with JT Mahoney. He's on the camera for the varsity game. Uh, and we are two and a half minutes away from the start of a varsity volleyball match between the Beacon Bulldogs and your John Jay Patriots. Looking forward to today's game. Jay uh, enters the game, I believe, at 2-0. I believe we've beaten Ketchum twice. Haven't confirmed that, but um, but you're watching right now the John Jay team warm up. Girls look focused and are ready to roll here. We've got some fans rolling in here. Jordan Dixon, soccer player extraordinaire, walking in here. Uh, brother of um, Mackenzie Dixon. Mackenzie is one of the rare three-sport athletes we have here at John Jay. They are few and far between these days. Um, Mackenzie plays varsity volleyball. She plays varsity basketball and she's on the track team as well. Um, nice block there and warmups by Mackenzie. Uh, so we've got a minute and 15 seconds left on the clock here. A referee blew the whistle. I assume that that means it's the end of the warm-ups for John Jay, and the girls are coming in to get the final instructions from Coach Mahoney. We will play the national anthem, uh, and then we will get going. The referee's checking out the net. We've got assistant coach Keyshore Nagaretti uh, retrieving the final ball here. For the Patriots and uh, Beacon is coming out of their huddle to our left. And uh, we are 30 seconds away from getting started. Again, the first thing that you'll see is uh, the national anthem and then the uh, girls will get started here. This is JV coach Joe Mahoney uh, running over to the other side of the floor there. And you can see Beacon uh, lined up a little bit there to your left. Um, and John Jay is to your right. And that's it. That's the end of the warm-ups. Everybody is standing here. Uh... And I stand corrected. I don't think we are going to do a national anthem. All right, so no national anthem. So I'm going to sit back down here, and you can see uh, the John Jay starters. We've got number seven, Viosa Jacoli, number four, Mackenzie Dixon, number 17, Mackenzie Cronin, number five, Arden Van Holenbeck, and number 12, Lydia McDonough, starting for the Patriots under the guidance of Coach Maria Mahoney. Captain is number seven, Viosa Giacoli. And the Lady Patriots are ready. Starting for Beacons, no, I don't have a Beacon roster, but number 10, number four, number 16, number eight, number 18. 18 is the captain of Beacon. And number seven. And Beacon makes an immediate substitution. 99 comes in uh, for Beacon, and we are ready to roll. The referee gives the ball to Beacon. 
And here we go, folks. We're underway. Beacon serving. Number seven for Beacon. Referee blows the whistle. Number seven for Beacon will serve it to begin the match. <clears throat> nice shot there by Beacon. Great effort by number 18. Kylie Simiferetti's Beacon leads one nothing. Number seven for Beacon, still serving. Kylie with the bump. Arden with the set. Nice finish there by Mackenzie Cronin. And John Jay ties up the score at one. So Mackenzie Cronin here for John Jay serving with the score tied at one. Nice serve by Mackenzie. Beacon able to get it back. Mackenzie Dixon set up for the spike. And that's John Jay ball or John Jay point, I guess I should say. John Jay leads two to one. John Jay's Mackenzie Cronin still serving. Real nice serve there by Mackenzie. Viosa Jacoli with the spike. And John Jay takes a three to one lead. John Jay up three to one here in this first game. Mackenzie Cronin serves. <clears throat> Nice job there by Mackenzie Dixon to block it. And then Mackenzie Dixon gets the spike. Well done there by Mackenzie to get the block coming over from Beacon. And then she finishes the point off with a nice spike. Is that what you call it, JT, a spike? Yeah, yeah all right. All right. Mackenzie Cronin serving. John Jay leading 4-1. to one. Little miscommunication there by Beacon, and John Jay takes a five to one lead. Mackenzie Cronin still serving for the Patriots. Five straight points she's got here for the Patriots. <clears throat> and John Jay has a sixth point. Six to one, John Jay here in the first game. Mackenzie Cronin still serving for John Jay. Great effort there by number 99 from Beacon. What a dig. Great spike there by Viosa Jacoli for John J. 99 on Beacon. Doing another real nice job getting the ball back over the net, but it went out of bounds. Seven to one, John J. here. Great serve there by Mackenzie Cronin. John J. leads eight to one. Timeout, Beacon. So the first time out of the match here with John Jay leading eight to one against the visiting Beacon Bulldogs. Coach Mahoney talking to the troops. And the Beacon coach doing the same thing here. <clears throat> Real good start by John Jay. John Jay's got a really good uh, mix of juniors and seniors on the roster. Junior Kylie Simiferides uh, is on the floor as we speak. Um, I think Lydia McDonough might also be on the floor, but I'm not positive of that. Arden Van Holenbeck. Uh, I believe is out there. Satu Nagaretti, also an excellent um, junior for the Patriots. And then, of course, you've got the seniors, Mackenzie Cronin being one of them, uh, serving here for the Patriots. Mackenzie Dixon, Viosa Jacoli, also out there. 
Great serve again by McKenzie. Nice try by number 99 from Beacon. <clears throat> and John Jay opens up a 9-1 to one lead. Really nice serve there again by McKenzie. You could see that ball knuckle uh, from where we're sitting in the stands. I don't know if you could see that uh, on YouTube there, but uh, that was a knuckler, really a tough ball for 99 to handle. Mackenzie, Dix, uh, Mackenzie Cronin, excuse me, serving again. She's got 10 straight points off of her serve. And that's 11. I'm glad I didn't jinx it there. 11 straight points won by John Jay. Off of the serve of Mackenzie Cronin. Nice job by Beacon. The spike is a little too far. <clears throat> and John Jay's almost halfway to the first game here. John Jay's up. 12 to 1. And finally, Mackenzie Cronin ends her run of 12 straight points. And the Beacon Bulldogs will serve it. Number four from Beacon is serving here. Beacon's down 12 to 2. John Jay's up 12 to 2 here. Nice serve by. Number four for Beacon, real nice serve. Too hot to handle for the Lady Patriots. And the score is John J. 12, Beacon three. <laughs> nice job there by John J. just to get it back over. Referee calls, I guess, a carry. Just looking at his hand signals there. And for John Jay, we've got a sub. Junior Ella Brown is entering for the Patriots, as well as senior Brooke Barba. And Brooke will take the ball, and she will serve. <clears throat> John Jay's up 13-3 to here in the first game. Nice serve by Brooke. Nice job by Viosa Jacoli there. And that gives John Jay a 14 to 3 lead. <laughs> Brooke Barba serving. Really nice dipping serve there by Brooke. Nice. Hit there by Viosa Jacoli. And that beacon shot a little bit wide. And John Jay's got a 15 to 3 lead here in the opening game of this varsity volleyball match. The undefeated Patriots taking on the Beacon Bulldogs here at the Skip Ransom Memorial Gymnasium. <clears throat> nice serve by Brooke. Timeout Beacon. The Beacon takes their second timeout here in the first game. John Jay's up 16 to 3. John Jay's Brooke Borba doing a nice job. I'm sorry, Brooke Barba doing a nice job serving here. I believe John Jay's only had two servers so far. Mackenzie Cronin went in a run of maybe 11 or 12 straight points. And then Brooke Barba took over the serving duties, and uh, she's run off the last three or four points in a row here. So John Jay's got a 16-3 to lead. We've got 20 seconds left in this timeout. As you're looking at the Patriots, under the direction of Coach Maria Mahoney, assisted by Keyshore Nagaretti and Joe Mahoney, it was Joe's birthday uh, last week. So a belated happy birthday to the birthday boy, JV coach Joe Mahoney. What's that? Big five -oh. The big 5-0. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 
Well, I I'm already there, so he's catching up to me. All right, so Brooke Barba back on the ball here. Miss hits that one just a little bit, and Beacon will take the service back. Beacon's trailing 16 to 4. <clears throat> I think this is number 18 from Beacon, but like I just said, I'm closing in on 52 next month, and I can't quite see, but as number 18 comes a little closer to me, it is 18, yep. So 18 will serve it here for the Beacon Bulldogs. All right, so a little bit of a lineup uh, discrepancy there by the Beacon Bulldogs. So the captain for Beacon, number 18, was talking to the referee. We are ready to go again here. Number 18 serves it, but it's into the net. So the point goes to the Patriots. And we've got junior Paige Fulton entering the match here for Arden Van Holenbeck. Paige is taking over the serving duties. Really nice serve by Paige. Beacon does a good job getting it across. A little miscommunication there by the Patriots. And ball goes over to Beacon. So Beacon's got a 12-point deficit that they're trying to crawl out of here. And they'll make a substitution. Number 15 is coming in for Beacon. As well as number five. So 15 and five in for Beacon. 15 is taking over the serving duties. For Beacon, who's trailing 17 to five in the opening game. Nice set there by Paige. What a nice hit by Viosa Jacoli. And John Jay's got an 18 to 5 lead. So John Jay's got a front row of Mackenzie Cronin, Lydia McDonough, and Ella Brown. As Viosa Jacoli serves it, does a nice job serving it. Even better job by Beacon to get it back over. And Beacon wins the point. John Jay's got an 18 to 6 lead here. Number eight for Beacon serving. Nice serve. Great dig there by. Brooke Barba, John Jay not able to, to keep it afloat. And the score is now John Jay 18, Beacon 7. Miss hit there by Beacon on the serve. John Jay takes a 19 to 7 lead. And John Jay's number 18, Kylie Simiferides, is coming in. And as is Mackenzie Dixon, it looks like Kylie is going to take over the serving duties here for the Patriots, see if she could score six straight points. Nice job by Beacon to get that ball back over. <clears throat> nice set by Taylor Fulton to Viosa Jacoli, who hits out of the back row. Gives John Jay a 20 to 7 lead. John Jay Jr., Kylie Simiferides serving here. Another really nice serve. Really good job there by Beacon getting the ball back over. 
And John J. Spike by Lydia McDonough goes just a tiny bit long. Really well placed in the far corner, but a little bit long, according to the referee. And the score is John J. 20, Beacon 8. Number 99, the libero for Beacon. I'm going to serve here. Great serve. Able to put it right smack in the middle of the John Jay defense. He was able to find a hole. And Beacon cuts the John Jay lead to 11 points. John Jay 20, Beacon 9. Nice job there by Kylie Simiferides and Mackenzie Cronin. What a spike. Wow. Very nice hit. Probably hear that from the crowd. That was well done by Mackenzie. We've got number five, Arden Van Holenbeck. Coming in for the Patriots. Lydia McDonough serving for John Jay. Ball's a little wide. That's going to give John Jay their 22nd point. John Jay's got a 22 to 9 lead. A little long there by the Patriots. Beacon gets the point, and we'll get the service back. <clears throat> Beacon's going to have a couple of substitutions. Number seven is coming in for Beacon, as well as number 10. Again, anybody from Beacon watching, I do apologize, don't have a Beacon roster on us. But we hope that you could recognize the names and the faces if you're from Beacon. Number seven serving here. Mackenzie Dixon with a nice bump. Arden Van Hollenbach gives it right back to Mackenzie Cronin. I think I said Mackenzie Dixon. Sorry about that. Got two Mackenzies on the team. And with John Jay up 23 to 10, Mackenzie Cronin takes the ball and will serve. Great serve. Dips nice and low. And Beacon's able to get the ball over on the Patriots' side. And Beacon takes that point. That's their 11th point of the first game here. John Jay still up 23 to 11. Number four serving for Beacon. Nice bump there by Kylie Simiferides. Viosa Jacoli with the spike. And that gives John Jay their 24th point. And this is going to be game point here. <clears throat> Or is this set point? I'm not too sure. I don't know. Do we call these sets or games? I uh, don't know, but Ella Brown is coming in for the Patriots as well as Brooke Barba. Brooke is taking the ball, and she will serve to seal the first game or first set for the Patriots. Great serve. That's an ace by Brooke Barba, and... That's the end of the first game, folks. John Jay takes the first game, 25 to 11. So I'll have a three-minute break here in between games. And, um, and then we'll start the second game here. Thanks so much for joining us on the John Jay Athletic YouTube channel. My name is Robert Seip. I'm on the mic. I'm a math teacher here at John Jay High School. J.T. Mahoney is on the camera. Uh, he's going to take over the mic duties for the JV game. That'll be after the varsity game here. Uh, and, um, again, we appreciate you joining us on the John Jay Athletics YouTube channel. Hope you subscribe uh, to the channel. The more subscribers we get, the easier it is for us to bring you games live streamed here on the John Jay Athletics YouTube channel. 
uh, got an email from the district um, late last week that we will be uh, getting local lives. So it looks like the district is uh, putting pen to paper with local live. Uh, and that'll make our job here at John Jay a little bit easier to bring you these uh, volleyball matches and football games. Don't know if you joined us uh, on Friday night, but we had a um, a nice game against North Rockland where John Jay was able to win 15 to 12. Uh, looking here at my calendar to see when the next time the volleyball team plays. I think it might be next Tuesday that we have a volleyball match. Um, just scrolling through here, and it looks like the next time we'll be live here at John Jay is on Friday night with the varsity football team taking on Fox Lane at 7 p.m. So we hope you join us for that game where the Patriots, who are 1-0 after beating a stacked North Rockland football team, uh, takes on Fox Lane. And then the girls' volleyball team will be back in action next week, uh, next Tuesday. Uh, and hopefully JT and I will both be uh, on that game. But um, eight days away, we'll have to see. Uh, we've got 30 seconds left here in the break between the first game and the second game. <clears throat> John Jay getting their final instructions from Coach Mahoney. And Beacon doing the same with their coach. Again, don't know the Beacon coach, don't have the Beacon roster. Uh, but um, for the Patriots here, starting the second game will be Ella Brown in the front row, along with Robin Taylor. I haven't seen Robin yet today, I don't think. Robin is an excellent volleyball player. I could... Attest to that from watching her play last week against Ketchum and Viosa Jacoli. So Ella Brown, Viosa Jacoli, and Robin Taylor in the front row for the Patriots. And then in the back row, we've got number 10, Satu Nagaretti. Uh, again, Satu, uh, excellent volleyball player. Haven't seen her yet today, but I could tell you how good she is by watching her play against Ketchum. Uh, last week, Mackenzie Dixon also in the back row and Paige Fulton. And then it looks like uh, Haley Howard, the John J. Libero, has subbed in. And Haley, number 13, will be, uh, will be in the back row for the Patriots. And then for Beacon, it looks like we have uh, 4, 18, and 10 in the front row. And 8, 7, and the libero, 99 in the back row for Beacon. And we are ready to start the second game. The referee gives the ball to John Jay's Paige Fulton. The fans and the players clap. And we're ready to go for the second game. John Jay won the first game 25-11. to 11. Paige Fulton serves to begin the second game. Beacon does a nice job getting it over. John Jay does a great job getting it back across. Some really good volleyball here to open up the second game. And there's Robin Taylor on the spike to secure the first point for the Patriots. Paige Fulton serving with the Patriots up 1-0 in the second game. Great serve. Beacon Libero, 99, does a nice job getting it back over. John Jay's Viosa Jacoli spikes it, then looks at the referee to see whether or not it was in. It definitely was in a good couple of inches inside the baseline. John Jay takes a 2-0 lead. Paige Fulton still serving. Great serve by Paige. Another knuckling, dipping serve there. Nice bump by Robin Taylor. Robin gets it right back from Paige Fulton. But Beacon wins that point. And Beacon number four will serve for the Bulldogs. 
Nice serve there. Satu Nagariti gets the ball back over, but Beacon knocks it back over and finds a little spot in the John Jay defense that was not covered. And we've got a 2-2 game here early in the second game, early in the second set, I guess I'll say. Uh, and John Jay's got a 3-2 lead. So John Jay's Viosa Jacoli serving here. Viosa well back of the baseline here. Comes running up. And wow, nice serve. A knuckler. Really well done by Beacon Libero 99 just to get that ball up in the air. 4-2 John Jay. Viosa serving again. Another great serve. Good job again by Beacon to get it back. Viosa to Page. Back to Viosa. Uh, what an effort by number seven on Beacon. That was that was a great spike by Viosa Jacoli off of a great setup by Paige Fulton. Viosa with another great serve. My guess is there, 99. For Beacon, the Beacon Libero, thinking about maybe letting that go. But that ball had so much English on it. That was a knuckler, and it was dipping. My guess is it would have landed inside the baseline. John Jay's up 6-2. to two, And Viosa's a little short on that serve. So the score is John Jay 6, Beacon 3. And Beacon captain, number 18... Serving for the Bulldogs. Nice job there by Haley Howard. Patriots not able to capitalize on that. Six to four beacon. Nice job by Satu Nagariti. And Satu finishes it off with a nice spike off of a set from Paige Fulton. And John Jay takes a 7-4 to four lead. John Jay's Haley Howard, the libero for the Patriots. Ready to serve with the Patriots up seven to four. Nice serve. Really nice placement there by Haley Howard for the Patriots to give John Jay an eight four lead. We're in the second game. If you're just joining us, John Jay won the first game 25 to 11. Another nice serve there by Haley Howard. Ball's a little long by Beacon. John Jay takes a 9-4 to four lead. <laughs> Haley Howard with a nice serve. Referee calls a violation on Beacon. Not too sure what the violation was for, but John Jay's got a 10-4 lead. Nice serve again by Haley Howard. Nice job by Beacon to get it over. Viosa Jacoli to Paige Fulton to Mackenzie Dixon. Back over Haley Howard to Paige Fulton. Robin Taylor, what a spike. Beacon, great job able to keep it in play. Haley Howard to Paige Fulton to Satu Nagaretti. Paige to Haley Howard to Robin Taylor a little long. Really good volleyball there by both teams. John Jay's got a 10 to 5 lead. Beacon's making a couple of substitutions. Number 12 and number 15 are both coming in for Beacon. Number 15's taking the ball to serve with Beacon down 10 to 5 in the second game here. <laughs> 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 
Nice serve there by Beacon number 15. Gets the point. A little miscommunication there on the Patriots side. But John Jay still up 10-6. to six. Number 15, nice serve. Satu Nagaridi bumps it, sets it by Paige Fulton, and the spike by Satu is a little long. So close is right. John Jay still got a 10-7 lead here. Nice serve by 15. A nice bump. Set, and a spike is into the net. Beacon on a little bit of a rally here. Number 15 doing a nice job serving. Beacon still down 10 to 8, but making their way back. Beacon's down one set to none. John Jay won the first set 25-11. Really nice serve by Beacon's number 15. The spike by Robin Taylor is a tiny bit long, just an inch or two. Looked pretty good from here, but of course I'm biased towards the Patriots. Uh, John Jay's got a 10-9 lead, so number 15 from Beacon serving to tie the match at 10. Viosa Jacoli to Paige Fulton to Robin Taylor a little long. And that ties the score up at 10. <laughs> 15 still serving here for Beacon. Nice serve. Wow, nice job by Satu Nagarati. Found a hole. That was a good play, right? She found a hole in the beacon defense and just tapped it over. So we've got a sub for John Jay. Arden Van Holenbeck is in for the Patriots. John Jay's Robin Taylor to serve. Nice serve by Robin. Great effort there by Beacon. What an effort by Haley Howard. What a dig by Haley Howard. Wow. And a nice effort by number 99 from Beacon. <laughs> 99 from Beacon says she's okay. So we've got number eight from Beacon serving. Scores tied at 11. Haley Howard with the bump. Arden Van... Holen back with the set. Satu Nagariti with the spike. Satu hits it again. What a shot. Beacon able to keep it in play as it's off the ceiling. Robin Taylor to Arden Van Holenbeck to Mackenzie Dixon, but Beacon gets the point. What an effort there by Beacon. John Jay had the point one, but it hit off the ceiling and heads up play by Beacon to keep the ball in play. And Beacon's got a 12 to 11 lead. Beacon wins that point and goes up 13 to 11. So we're in the middle of Beacon's first lead of this game. Beacon had a lead early in the first game. I think they were up one nothing, maybe two nothing before the Patriots took control of the game. But here we've got a real, real good varsity volleyball game here. Beacons up 13 to 12. Satu Nagariti is serving here for John Jay. I think it's Satu Nagaretti. Nice job by Beacon to get the ball over. Nice set by Arden Van Holen back in Viosa Jacoli. Gets the spike for the winner. And that ties the score at 13. Satu Nagaretti. Serving for the Patriots. 
Nice serve by Satu. Balls back to Satu. Nice bump. Nice set by Arden Van Holenbeck. Viosa Jacoli spikes it deep. And Beacon's not able to handle it. Great effort by Beacon. Bodies all over the gym floor, but not able to get the ball back over the net. And the referee is asking for the floor to be cleared of all bags. Satu serving here. Satu Nagaretti. John Jay up 14 to 13. Nice serve by Satu. Another good effort by Beacon, but not able to get it back over in three hits. John Jay has a 15 to 13 lead. Nice serve by Satu, and that ball falls on the Beacon side. And John Jay's got a 16 to 13 lead. Nice serve by Satu. Ball just knuckling over. Mackenzie Dixon, nice shot for John Jay. Really great dig by Haley Howard. Wow. Wow. Arden Van Holenbeck surprised me. I was looking to see who she was going to set that ball to, and she just slipped it over the net. And we've got a timeout here at the Skip Ransom Memorial Gymnasium on the campus of John J. Senior High School in Hopewell Junction, New York, for today's varsity volleyball match between the Beacon Bulldogs and the John J. Patriots. John J. won the first game 25-11, to 11, and John J.'s got a slim lead, 17-13 to 13 here in the second game. <sighs> We've got a fairly good crowd on hand for the, the game today. We have some John J. parents here. Probably 15, 18 John Jay parents. And it looks like we've got a couple of Beacon parents as well. Uh, I believe the Section 1 rule these days is you're allowed two fans per home uh, player. And then two fans per senior visiting player. But I could be wrong. Satu Nagariti serves it here for the Patriots. Nice dig there by Robin Taylor. And Viosa Jacoli a little short on that spike. John Jay will give the ball back to Beacon. John Jay still holds a 17 to 14 lead. And the Beacon Libero number 99 will serve it. Beacon down three points here in the second game. Nice bump there by Robin Taylor. Nice set by Arden Van Holenbeck. And Viosa Jacoli finishes it off. Gives John Jay an 18 to 14 lead. John Jay's Mackenzie Dixon will serve for the Patriots up four. Nice serve by McKenzie. Beacon able to get it over. Nice bump by McKenzie. Nice set by Arden. Nice spike by Ella. Good job by Robin Taylor to bump it. Ball goes right back to Robin Taylor. What a shot. And John Jay gets the point. Really nice job there by Robin Taylor. She bumped it to... Arden Van Holenbeck. Arden gave it right back to Robin, and she hit the winner from the back row. John Jay's up 19 to 14. Mackenzie Dixon still serving. Great dipping serve. And John Jay takes a 20 to 14 lead. 20 to 14 here in the second game. John Jay's Mackenzie Dixon serving. Hey. 
And Beacon not able to get it over. John Jay takes a 21 to 14 lead here in the second game. John Jay won the first game 25 to 11. Mackenzie Dixon still serving here for the Patriots. Nice job by Beacon to get it over. Robin Taylor with the bump. Arden Van Holenbeck sets up Ella Brown. And Ella Brown gets the winner. John Jay's up 22 to 14. Mackenzie Dixon still serving here for the Patriots. Really nice dipping serve. Satu Nagaretti sends it to Arden Van Hollenbeck. Viosa Jacoli, well placed shot there. And that brings the Patriots to within two points of securing the second set here. John Jay won the first set 25 to 11. They're leading the second 23 to 14. John Jay's Mackenzie Dixon on a roll here with the serve. And that point goes to John Jay. I don't know if you could see that, but it hit the ceiling and fell back on the beacon side. So that gives John Jay a 24 14 lead here. Mackenzie Dixon serving to close out of the second set for the Patriots. And Viosa Jacoli does a nice job, but Beacon's able to get it back over. Satu Nagariti does a nice job digging it out. Ella Brown does a nice job bumping it back over. Good job by Viosa. Back to Viosa. And the ball falls on the beacon side, John Jay point. And that's the game, folks. So John Jay wins the second game, 25 to 11. I'm sorry, 25 to 14. Did I say 25 to 11? That was the score of the first game, folks. That was the score of the first game. So in the second game, John Jay uh, wins 25 to 14. John Jay's up two games to none. And we are two and a half minutes away from the start of the third game. My name's Robert Sape. I'm on the mic here. I've got JT Mahoney with me uh, working the camera. Absolute pleasure to be here. It's, absolute it's, pleasure. it's great to have you here. Uh, JT is uh, is uh, working down at the Putnam Valley School District during the day, right? And then he comes up here to watch his sister play on the JV team and watch his mom coach the varsity team and his dad coach the JV team and assist the varsity team. It's a family affair here volleyball at John Jay. It's the Mahoney's. Maria is a social studies teacher here at John Jay. Her husband, Joe, the JV coach, is a math teacher at Putnam Valley. I'm a math teacher here at John Jay. I can tell you that um, I've learned a tremendous amount just speaking to Mr. Mahoney about how he teaches math down at Putnam Valley, great math teacher, as Coach Mahoney is an equally awesome social studies teacher at John Jay. The kids love her. The administration loves her. The fellow coaches love her. This boys soccer coach and boys basketball coach loves her. She does a great job with the girls on the volleyball team, does a great job with the kids in the classroom. JT, her son, I'm sure does a great job with the kids down at Putnam Valley, as does Mr. Mahoney. Gotta love working at the elementary school. Shout out to my fellow colleagues at the Putnam Valley Elementary School. They work hard every day, and so they're some of the best people I could ever work with. I bet uh, my wife is an elementary school teacher. Uh, the elementary school teachers are awesome. 
they really do work hard. Um, not an easy job working at the elementary school. Not an easy job working at the high school either, but I think it's it's tougher at the elementary level. Uh, but you have a chance to make a real positive impact on young kids. And that, in the end, is what it's all about here, right? Uh, so we're about ready to start the third game. John Jay's got Arden Van Holen back, a junior. Mackenzie Dixon, a senior. And Mackenzie Cronin, a senior, in the front row. And then it looks like they've got Lydia McDonough, a junior. Kylie Simiferides, a junior. And Viosa Jacoli, a senior, in the back row for the Patriots. And number seven from Beacon is ready to serve. And the third game is off. Viosa Jacoli with a nice bump. Arden Van Holenbach sets up Mackenzie Cronin. Shots a little long. And Beacon opens up a one nothing lead here in the third game. John Jay's up two games to zero. Winning the first game 25 to 11. And the second game 25 to 14. Nice job there by the Patriots all converging around that ball. Nice job by Beacon getting it back over. Nicely placed by Mackenzie Dixon. Was that a left hand? I think that was a left-handed tip uh, over the net where Beacon was not. All right, so John Jay's Mackenzie Cronin takes over the serving duties. Score tied 1-1. And Haley Howard subbing in for the Patriots. The John J. Libero. Haley's a senior. And Beacon's got a two to one lead. Nice job by Haley Howard coming in, getting that bump. Violation on Beacon, according to the referee. John J. Point. So it's two to two. John Jay's number three, Junior Ella Brown, subbing in for the Patriots. Kylie Simiferides takes a, a break. And John Jay Sr., Mackenzie Dixon serving. Nice dig by Haley Howard. Wow. Great shot by Viosa Jacoli. Great job by Beacon to keep that point alive. And Dixon going to serve here with John Jay up three to two. We're early in the third set. John Jay's up two sets to love. Really good serve there by McKenzie. Nice top spin spike there by Viosa Jacoli. Great dig by Mackenzie Dixon, but the ball hits the rope and Arden Van Hollenbeck not able to, to keep it afloat. Tough break there for the Patriots. John Jay's senior, Brooke Barba, uh, entering the back row for the Patriots. Beacon captain number 18, serving great dig by Brooke Barba. What a substitution by Coach Mahoney to get Brooke in the back row. And the ball hits the ceiling, falls on the John Jay side, but the referee awards it to John Jay. Must be a rule that as it comes over, uh, the ball cannot hit the ceiling. So Robin Taylor checks back in for the Patriots, along with Paige Fulton, who serves. Oh, and a little miscommunication there by the Lady Patriots and Beacon ties the score at four. Sub for Beacon here, number 12 and number 15 coming in for the Bulldogs.
Nice shot by John Jay's Robin Taylor. Nice spike there by Robin. Looked like she had a double block to contend with, but was still able to accurately get that ball over the net. John Jay's got a 5-4 to four lead. Viosa Jacoli with an awesome serve there. Great effort by number 99 from Beacon the Beacon Libero, but she's not able to keep it in play. John Jay takes a 6-4 to four lead on the strength of Viosa Jacoli serving. Viosa bumps it. Paige Fulton sets it. Mackenzie Cronin. Ah! Ball's called a little bit long on that baseline. Yep, just a tad long. That was a good hit, but John Jay still got a six to five lead here. Number eight serving for Beacon. A little short, and John Jay takes a seven to five lead. John Jay's Mackenzie Dixon checking back into the front row for Brooke Barba. And we've got Ella Brown serving for the Patriots. Nice serve. Nice job by Beacon. Nice bump, set, and spike. Wow, nice job there. So Viosa Jacoli gets the bump. Paige Fulton sets it right back to Viosa. And she gets a spike from the back row to give John Jay an 8-5 to five lead here in the third set. John Jay's up two sets to love. Ella Brown, nice serve. And Beacon not able to get it over the net. John Jay goes up nine to five. Nice serve by Ella Brown. Great job by both Beacon and John Jay to keep the ball in play there. Nice back set there by Paige Fulton to Robin Taylor, and Robin Taylor gets the winner. Really good point there by both teams, but a great finish by John Jay's Robin Taylor, and that gives John Jay a 10-5 to lead. Ella Brown still serving here for the Patriots. Mackenzie Cronin hits the top of the net and it falls on the beacon side. John Jay up 11 to 5. Nice serve there by Ella. Beacon not able to get it over the net. We've got a timeout. Beacon, John Jay takes a 12-5 to lead here in the third game. John Jay won the first game 25-11 to and the second game 25-14. to Some really good volleyball here. On the campus of John Jay Senior High School, we're in the Skip Ransom Memorial Gymnasium. Thanks for joining me. My name's Robert Sape. I'm a math teacher here at John Jay. I'm joined by JT Mahoney on the camera. JT and I will switch roles for the JV game. Uh, we've got 20 seconds left in the timeout here. We thank you for joining us on the John Jay Athletics YouTube channel. We hope you subscribe. The more subscribers we get, the easier it is for us to bring you these Sporting events live here at John Jay. So the timeout is over. John Jay's Ella Brown picks back up the ball and continues to serve for the Patriots, leading 12 to 5. Another great serve by Ella. Not too sure what Beacon can do about that. Really good dipping serve there. 
And John Jay takes a 13 to 5 lead. Another great serve by Ella Brown. And John Jay's up 14 to 5 here. Ball falls on the beacon side. Mackenzie Dixon had it covered, but wasn't needed. John Jay's got a 15 to 5 lead. Ella Brown still serving. A little short, as you heard from the Beacon players. And John Jay's Haley Howard checks back in for the Patriots. And the Beacon Libero, number 99, set to serve for Beacon as they trail 15 to 6. can see the uh, John J. JV team getting ready as John Jay's 10 points away from securing this match. Great effort there by number 15 from Beacon. Really good effort. But the point goes to John Jay and John Jay's Arden Van Holenbeck. Checks back in. John Jay's Robin Taylor serving. John Jay's up 16 to 7 in this third set. John Jay wins that point on the strong serving from Robin Taylor, and they take a 17 to 7 lead. Nice serve again by Robin Taylor. Mackenzie Cronin with the dig. Arden Van Holenbeck sets up Mackenzie Dixon. And Mackenzie Dixon gets the winner. That gives John Jay an 18-7 lead. Robin Taylor with a nice serve. Beacon does a nice job getting it back over. Viosa Jacoli bumps to Arden Van Holenbeck, who gives it back to Viosa Jacoli for a backline spike. And that gives John Jay a 19 to 7 lead. Ball a little short there on the serve. Beacon ball. Beacon's down 19 to 8 as they make a sub here. Number 5 is subbing in for Beacon. And it looks like number 12, Lydia McDonough, is checking back in for the Patriots. Number seven set to serve for Beacon. Beacon down 19 to 8. John Jay six points away from securing the match. Haley Howard does a nice job digging it. Mackenzie Cronin hits it a little bit long. But John Jay still got a comfortable 19 to 9 lead. We've got Arden Van Holenbeck, Mackenzie Dixon, and Mackenzie Cronin in the front line for the Patriots. Haley Howard bumps it for John Jay. Arden Van Holenbeck sets up Mackenzie Dixon, and Mackenzie gets another winner. And that puts John Jay up nine, uh, 20 to 9. Okay, it said 19 to 9 on the scoreboard. I thought it was 20. It is 20 to 9, John Jay. Serve is a tiny bit long by the Patriots. Ball goes back to Beacon. 
The Beacon trailing 20 to 10, number four set to serve for Beacon. Ball's a little wide. Good eye there by John J. Libero, Haley Howard. John J.'s Ella Brown checking back in. Mackenzie Dixon to serve with the Patriots up 21 to 10. Nice job by the Beacon Libero. But Beacon not able to get it back over the net. John Jay's got a 22 to 10 lead. John Jay Libero, Haley Howard checking back in. Mackenzie Dixon still serving. Ball falls on the Beacon side. John Jay point. John Jay's up 23 to 10. John Jay won the first game 25 to 11. They won the second game 25 to 14. And they're leading the third game here 23 to 10 with Mackenzie Dixon serving an ace. I think that's an ace. The libero for Beacon got a hand on it. So maybe we call it a service winner. I'm a tennis guy. That's what we would call it in tennis. But regardless, Mackenzie Dixon serving for the match here. And it goes a tiny bit long. And when I say a tiny bit, just a tiny bit long on the baseline. And John Jay's Brooke Barba checking back in for the Patriots. Beacon captain number 18 to serve here. Match point for the Patriots up 24 to 11. Ball's a little long, and that gives the victory to the Patriots. John Jay wins the third and final game, 25 to 11. And that's all we've got for you today. So John Jay wins the match, three sets to love. They win the first game, 25 to 11. The second game, 25 to 14. And the third game, 25 to 11. We thank you for joining us on the John Jay Athletics YouTube channel. We're going to take a little break. We're going to cut the live stream here. Uh, and we are going to be back in about 20 minutes for the JV game. Again, my name is Robert Seip. I'm on the microphone. JT Mahoney was working the camera. And when we come back for the JV game in about 20 minutes, We'll switch, and JT Mahoney will uh, be working the, uh, the mic, and I'll be on the camera. Again, thanks, everybody, for joining us. We do appreciate it. Uh, until the JV game in 20 minutes, we'll see you in a few. Thanks so much, folks.